What's up, y'all? I just want to preface these videos with a couple of points um, so that there's no surprises. Uh, I am not a YouTuber video maker. Uh, I don't have any fancy influencer, you know. Um, I don't really even watch videos. I'm the kind of person who, if you send me a link, I'm like, can I Google the gist of it? <laughs> even if it's like a really intriguing news article, like, come see what Britney Spears has buried in her basement, alive. I'm like, ooh, okay. I click on it, it's a video. I'm like, how long is it, five minutes? Maybe I can like skip every 30 seconds and see what she's got buried down there. It just wasn't my thing. So I don't have a lot of experience, um, even in just being able to mimic people's behaviors who do videos. So it's going to be a little bit raw. It's going to be me just talking the way I would be talking to my friends because, um, you are, and the way I would talk to my children because you are, <laughs> you are all my children. Um, I was the kind of person in school where if we were required to write a draft, I would write the essay first and then like fudge a draft, like cross things out. Because for me, in the way I speak, I, I do tend to speak from emotion. You'll see me thinking a lot in my videos. I'll be thinking of my answers as I'm talking. Um, and I will probably be saying um and like a lot because I am a great public speaker, but I didn't major in the thing. So it's more just like, I'm not afraid of it. Not really like I'm really good at this, um, but good enough. And if you can't deal with the ums and the likes, then shit, don't watch my videos. Fuck, ain't nobody making you, damn. Which brings me to my first point. I would not call this a not safe for work experience across the board when it comes to my videos, but I do have a mouth like a sailor. I have just accepted that this is a part of who I am. Uh, because I've tried to break that habit many times, um, especially because I was always very religious, um, which is something that I will probably address in a later video. Um, I just think fuck is funny sometimes. Sorry. I also will be addressing if anyone does bring up questions or issues that are 18 plus, so to speak. If people have questions, I'm gonna talk about it. So if you're under 18 or if you have a kid around that you don't want, like whatever, just be aware of that for um, any videos that might be posted. There might be some stuff in there that you don't want more sensitive ears over. Point number two is uh, people have been talking to me about making videos for a while and it wasn't something that I ever really started to pursue seriously because you know how we went through kind of a photographer phase where everyone kind of got like a semi-decent DSLR and everyone was a photographer for like six months? Um, we have kind of hit that generational YouTube peak thing. And I was kind of like, I don't really want to just be someone else talking to a camera. But I stopped to think about it after my friends brought it up to me this week. And I was like, you know what? It's the same thing that I was doing before when it came to my tweets. If one person sees one video 10 months from now and it was what they needed to hear and I was able to help them, then it was worth the time and effort put into it. And I'm always going to make sure to speak from the heart and think about my answers as I'm saying them. I do tend to come from a more emotionally deep place when I talk to people and say, Maybe not the first thing that pops into my head, but more the first draft that comes into my head of what I am feeling and what I want to express. And I just find that if I repeat it too many times, I really tend to lose the heart of what I'm trying to say because I am a speaker and I do have a lot of words. I do have a lot of different ways to say things. And sometimes it's like having too many options at a restaurant. I don't want to toss around a bunch of different words to try and come off the best way. I just want to tell you what I think and what I feel in a way that shows you that I'm sincere. So that's what I'm going for. So uh, to start this, I'm pretty much considering this my introduction video. Um, most of anyone who has talked to me about videos has actually been following me or knows me relatively well. But I'm going to give you some basic information anyway because there's a surprising amount of confusion about my life considering I never shut up about it and I'm pretty much an open book. But I guess that some of the things I say have come off a little bit 
weird. So, um, or confusing rather. So the first thing that I am going to cover is my name. My name is Tina, not Bella. I know that everyone gets confused because my username is Bella, but the truth is that was my screen name when I was in third grade. Everything was Bella, everything, because I'm Italian and Bella means beautiful. And when you're 11, everything is like beautiful, kisses and hugs, whatever. So it kind of just stuck because it was easy. And then I proceeded to not really use my Twitter for seven years. And then in the last six months, it was like, when I was like, okay, <laughs> it's kind of late to change it now because this is what everyone knows me as, damn it. It's fine. I still think it's kind of cute. But yes, my name is Tina. That's what the T is for. Tina is my name. You can call me T. You can call me Bella. It's just not my real name. I am 28 years old. I just turned 28 on January 16th, uh, which makes me a Capricorn. I am a Capricorn sun, an Aquarius moon, and a Leo rising. So we've got basically a lot of bossy mothering qualities going on here, which is pretty much who I am. I'm okay with that. I think that there are definitely challenges to it at times, but there are challenges to every personality type, so grass is always greener. I am from New York, Long Island, which is where I still currently am. I know there's also been some confusion over where I live. I am from New York, born and raised on Long Island, and I never thought I would leave. And then I found San Antonio, and I was like, it's pretty nice not having to worry about paying $1,200 a month for a studio. And then I met Dom, and that pretty much solidified it for me. Most of you know that I have a boyfriend. His name is Dom. He's pretty cool. He's the best. I usually am posting from San Antonio, which has confused people. Uh, he lives in San Antonio. I do not. Um, that is something that I have already been asked to address several times by people, so that is definitely one of the topics that I'm going to cover, which is how we met and all that kind of stuff. I have three dogs. Uh, Chihuahua Yorkie named Lady Galadriel that we call Lady. A Maltese Yorkie named Minerva McGonagall that we call Minnie. And then I have a Chewini, which is half Chihuahua, half Dachshund. And he is named Peanut Butter. Peanut Butter lives with me. And my other two dogs live with my ex-husband because I was married, which is another topic that I've been asked to cover is one of the topics that I will cover. So those are kind of the basics. I feel like without delving too deep into like my personal history already, uh, we're kind of at the end of things that are just like basic information about me. Um, I am hoping to cover topics that I've already been asked about. I've been asked about several, a couple of them, a couple of them multiple times. Number one, I have been asked to cover my relationship with my kids and um, who they are to me, my relationship like to them. Um, which is another thing that I had thought was sort of clear on my page, but I suppose things get lost in the shuffle. Uh, number two thing that I've been asked to discuss, as I mentioned before, was my relationship with Dom and how we met and all that. Number three that I was asked to discuss was my marriage. A couple of other things that I will be discussing as time goes on, <clears throat> probably in multiple installments as it comes to me, are religion. Um, because like I said, I did grow up very religious. I was always very religious anxiety and, and self-harm are also um, important subjects that I'm going to be going over. And then just pretty much whatever gets requested of me or comes into my brain. Um, whatever you guys would like me to talk about, look, I can't promise that I'm going to say every single thing because I know I'm going to get those messages from people. But if you have something you want me to talk about, if you have something that you want to talk about, Send me a message, make an anonymous account, freaking, you know, get it to me somehow because nobody should have to sit locked in the silence of the questions they don't have answered. And that's not any way to live. No one should have to go through the harder parts of life or the more confusing parts of life alone. And if I can help you in any way, then I want to. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the videos that I make and I hope that they are easy to understand. If there's an issue where you have a hard time understanding me or you need me to re-go over something or repeat something, send me a message. And uh, if you don't like them and you can't stand them and you think I should change everything about them, then, you know, don't watch them. I don't... <laughs> but if you do watch them, then I hope that they're helpful for you. I hope that they reach you. And just know that you are never without somebody. I am here. I am listening. And I really, really do care. 
I genuinely want you to reach a place where you feel comfortable with yourself and you feel comfortable with the life that you're living and you feel comfortable with knowing that you are a wonderful person and your mistakes do not redefine that. And if I'm able to do that by talking to you a couple of minutes out of my day in a video, then I want to help. And I'm here to listen.